Josh is on a fish. Good fish. Quick, 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 quick Darren. As part of the Victorian Government's Department of Primary Industries, our job here at Fisheries Victoria is to manage the state's freshwater and marine fisheries in a way that's sustainable and gives fair access for recreational and commercial fishers. As Victoria's population is growing, so too is the number of recreational fishers. Fisheries Victoria is looking to respond to that increasing demand by creating new opportunities for recreational fishing across the state. One of the possibilities is to build artificial reefs. They've been around for centuries, but the designs have been pretty rough and ready and they haven't necessarily always fished very well. So we've turned to our scientists at our research facility at Queenscliff to come up with a modern design to test and prove that these are environmentally friendly and also that they produce good fishing for our recreational fishers. So our starting point was to search around the world for reef solutions that would be best suited to the environment and fish communities resident in Port Phillip Bay. We identified that reef balls would be highly suited both to the environment of Port Phillip Bay but also the species of major interest which was snapper. Reef balls are actually concrete dome structures. They're hollow on the interior, they have an opening in the top and various openings around the outside to allow fish to move in and out. We actually use three different sizes in our reefs and they're arranged in a patchwork configuration which we think is highly suited to a species like snapper which likes to live around the edges of reefs rather than in them. As our directive was not only to design and install these reefs but also to monitor them and evaluate their performance, where we put the reefs was absolutely critical. This area in the northeast of Port Phillip Bay, approximately two kilometres off the Frankston to Mordiatic shoreline, was ideal. It was relatively unassigned and was already a very popular fishing spot for snapper. The three reefs were placed in approximately 11 metres of water and were given the names Rec, Tedesco and Yakka after a public naming competition. Science underpins all the decisions we make about identifying opportunities to boost recreational fishing across Victoria. The combination of the field work undertaken by our scientists coupled with the huge efforts by Angler Diarists right across the state build that knowledge base. The Angler Diary program provides a real partnership between us here at Queenscliff as the scientists and recreational fishers. As part of this program, we've introduced monitoring of the new artificial reefs. It was a real no-brainer to get these guys involved. They've got so much local knowledge, they know how to catch fish. And really, who's going to tell us if recreational fishing is improving because of artificial reefs better than the anglers? I'm Matt and this is Jason and today we're going into the Rec Reef off Mordialli. Jason and I have got involved in this program because we are locals and we're very interested to know more about our local fishery. Juvenile snapper I'd say by the way it's bouncing. So as gently as possible we take the hook out. So we go over here we measure the fish and then release them. Alright, and now we record those statistics. On my size 6 hook, I was using a pippy for bait. Three years ago when I was fishing here, before the reefs were in, uh, we'd be lucky to catch a flathead or two here. And now it's just unbelievable. There's so many different species of fish, uh, different sizes of fish, and we're onto a bigger fish, with a bigger bait and a bigger hook. This is why the reefs are so great. We've come out here, we haven't put any burly out. And what we've got here is a beautiful snapper. A helping hand with the net, and catching fish like that. That's fantastic, have a look at that. Now that's what these reefs are producing. A lot more so in November and December, but even this time of year, they are fantastic. There's, they're there, there's plenty of them. So while the Angler Diary Program is going to give us some vital information about fishing, it's important that we also get under the water and have a look at what's happening on the reefs. So we have a team that goes out and they're doing scuba diving surveys and lowering underwater video with baits to try and attract fish and see what's actually on the bottom, not just what's being caught by the fishermen. So while the divers have been out recording information on fish assemblages, they've also been recording a lot of information on other plants and animals that might be inhabiting the reefs. This is really important if we're going to get a full picture 
on what's happening with introducing artificial reefs to Port Phillip Bay. So with three years of extensive monitoring behind us, we're able to see what actually changed by putting in artificial reefs. Before the reefs went in, we were seeing mostly demersal fish species like your flatheads and your stingrays. But within six months, we saw rapid colonisation by algae and bryzoans. So that then brought small fish communities, little fish that aren't necessarily recreationally important, but they set themselves up within six months. That then attracted the predators and predators are what recreational anglers want. And the predators were predominantly snapper. There was some snook and pike, things that are of real interest. Between six months to 12 months, we saw those juvenile snapper really start to become the main predatory species. But from 12 months to 24 months to the end of the monitoring program, uh, the catches of larger, mature snapper really increase. We now have the results of the three year study conducted by our scientists here at Queenscliff into the performance of our trial artificial reefs in Port Phillip Bay. As always, good science is the backbone of good policy making. We're now confident based on the results of the scientific assessment of the artificial reefs program in Port Phillip Bay that they are environmentally friendly, they do produce great fishing opportunities for recreational fishers. Based on that work, we can now go ahead quite confidently and design a larger program of building artificial reefs across Victoria for the benefit of all fishers. Well, I've been part of the Anglers Diary program for over 10 years and uh, one of the aspects of this work has been monitoring the recreational reef. I got there before dawn all on my own, it was pretty choppy. Put the anchor over, had a look at the sounder, the sound lit up like a Christmas tree. Next minute I had a five kilo fish on one rod. Put that in the boat, pretty proud of myself. Got another one on, fighting that one and the third rod took off. Loosed up the drag, put my foot on that. Realised it was something a bit different. Brought it into the, the boat and saw this great head loom up out of the gloom because it was still before dawn and uh, it turned out to be the fish of a lifetime. Well, it was 12.3 kilo, which I understand is between 26 and 27 pound, which was uh, the biggest fish I've uh, caught in uh, over 60 years of snapper fishing. 